Hello, I am the Silver Wheel Witch. Welcome to my channel. I'm here today to do another unboxing of the Nine of Earth subscription box. This one is for March of 2022. So with that, let's just go ahead and dive right in and take a look at what we have this month. It looks like they have this beautiful new box, black with purple stars and moons on it. Um, they do seem to alternate their boxes from month to month. It, tend to go in theme with what's in the box, which is just a nice touch. The box does come labeled as from Nine of Earth, still pretty discreet, depending on what your needs are. And with that, let's go ahead and open this up. Look at that. Okay, so this is usually the information sheet. Let's just take a peek and see if we can look at the theme we have this month is Goddess Magic. Love it. Okay, so I'm just going to set that aside and read through the information after we take a first look. We have in here a card as well that says Goddess Energy Tarot Spread. What god or goddess has been with you since birth? What god or goddess do you most embody? And what god or goddess can you call upon to help you with your current situation? This is awesome. I can't wait to see what deck is in here this month. Ooh, looks like we have a... Is it attached to the bag? It is sewn onto the bag. Let's go ahead and just take a look. Cause it's right here. It's got a beautiful golden bag here and it looks like a necklace charm and let's take a look goddess says gods and guardians oracle cards 44 card deck and guidebook this looks great i have not seen this deck we don't have this one so that's nice Ooh, it is Hay House. So I am a fan of um, the Hay House card productions. They have nice sturdy boxes. Their cards are usually a really nice thickness and sturdy, but still easy to shuffle. So great, once we finish going through the box, I will um, open that up and flip through a few cards so we can take a look. Let's see what else we have here. Wild Return, Triple Goddess, Creativity Elixir, Abundance, Creativity, Joy, and let's see, Fast Paced Modern Life Anecdote, encourages you to be yourself, to take up space, to be wild, to shine your light, Sacral Chakra, Water, Sustainably, sustainably Sourced, No Synthetic Ingredients, um, bio available, no filters, woman owned. Very cool. Let's take a look. Just a really neat elixir, it looks like. Ooh, that looks awesome. Oh, it looks almost like purple. Love that. Look at that bottle, you guys. That is awesome. I love that. Very exciting. Okay. We also have some Egyptian goddess purification and protection and prosperity it's resin incense Let's see if it says what it is natural resin gum herbs and other biotanicals um, it doesn't say but to be honest it kind of looks like it's like got some kind of powder or something coating on it to make it green and it looks like it's possibly like a frankincense that maybe has some other kind of herbal um, coating on it. So very neat. Okay, from Soul Sticks. Let's go ahead and pull this stuff to the side. I see a stone here. Let's take a look at that. Been getting a lot of these smaller stones lately in the subscription boxes I get, and I really often really don't mind it because I'm trying to 
collect enough stones to start doing some more uh, crystal grid work. So this looks like rutilized quartz. So it's got the, looks like it's got the rue tile there. And it looks kind of just like a quartz stone. Very cool. I'm sure we'll find out more. And, ooh, is this a book, you guys? Oh my gosh. It is. Look at the cover on that. That is stunning. Dark Goddess Magic. Rituals and Spells for Reclaiming Your Feminine Fire by C. R. Campbell, creator of the Goddess Circle. Dark Goddess Magic. Ooh, they're glossy pages. Um, Fair Winds is the publisher. Published in 2021. And it looks like first published in 2021. So it's a brand new book. To my family, my dog Sunny, and my global circle, thank you for the love and support. And then it looks like the contents, I'll give you a close up of each of those pages. Make sure I can get all of that on the screen for you. So it looks like there's just a lot of different goddesses in here. It's like a chapter on each. Very neat, ooh, even more. Okay, very nice, this looks excellent. Looks like it goes over quite a few different cultures as well. So four full pages of goddesses. So it looks like there's about 20 of them. We have an introduction, how to use the book. And then I'll just give you a flip through. Oh my gosh, you guys, look how full color that is. Oh, this looks beautiful. Oh, I can't wait to dive into this. This is a very pretty book. It looks like it's got a decent amount of information and correspondences too for each of the goddesses, which is very nice. Just from flipping through, it looks like each one has some information about them, some associations, um, it says matters associated with, affirmation, and looks like maybe a ritual, maybe a spell or two for each one. Very pretty book. All right. And it does have an index. That's always nice. Acknowledgements. And some resources. A glossary. Very nice. Beautiful book. That is exciting. We got a deck and a book in this box. Okay. With that, we got one more piece of jewelry in here. One more piece that is jewelry, I should say. That looks like a wing with a rose on it. Beautiful, let's open that. Oops, look at this. Very pretty, very pretty. Love that. Okay, it doesn't give any information on the jewelry, so I'm unless it gives it to us on the paperwork, I'm going to assume that this is not anything like silver, um, but hopefully the paperwork will give us a little bit more detail on that. All right, let's go ahead, and we have this one too that came with the deck. They're very pretty. All right, let's go ahead and read the information and then I'll open the deck for you all. See what we have. Let's go ahead and get these in screen for you so you have something nice to look at. All right, first item we have is the Goddess Gods and Guardians Oracle Cards and Guidebook. It has a $19.99 value. It is the vibrant 44, oh sorry, the 44 vibrant and soulful cards depict a diverse collection of powerful global deities and spiritual guides to divinely support, empower, and inspire your path. Created by sophiebashford.com, artwork by HD 
wilsonart.com. Then we have the Goddess Isis Velvet Tarot Bag. So that is the tarot bag with the Goddess Isis emblem on the front there, which you could either leave on the bag or you could easily take it off without damaging the bag and use it as a necklace if you wanted to. Gold velvet bag featuring a pendant of the Egyptian goddess Isis, known as the goddess of the sky, moon, and magic, nineofearth.com. And we have the triple goddess creativity elixir by Wild Return. That has a $26 value. And I, of course, forgot to mention the value of the bag is $12. Okay, so back to the elixir. $26 value, it says that this playful formula is the anecdote to fast-paced modern life. It encourages you to be yourself, take up space, to be wild, to shine your light, and share your gifts with the world. Each day is a reminder that you can do anything you set your heart to. Use this creativity tincture to birth new projects or breathe fresh air into existing ones. And it has benefits that lower inflammation, supports cell regeneration, adaptogenic tonic, being in the present moment, connect to your senses to bring about change, turning into your creative energy, tuning in to your creative energy, balance sacral, uh, sacral chakra, sorry, I'm tongue twisted today, wildreturnbotanicals.com. Okay, and then we have the Egyptian Goddess Resin Incense by Soul Sticks. Curious what it says about this. It is a $4.99 value. It is for protection, purification, and prosperity. Resin incense from tree and plant saps, herbs, and other botanicals can be burned to call upon Egyptian Goddess or leave as an offering, comes in red or green color. Okay, so we got the green one in this box, I did. So it sounds like some of you might get red if you also subscribe to the box. And then we have the Angelic Goddess Necklace. That's this one. Again, very pretty. If I get it in the right light for you. And it is a $14.99 value. Roses as the queen of flowers, among other things, symbolize the goddess, divine wisdom, and mystery. Some of the known goddesses associated with roses are Isis, Aphrodite, Venus, Sibyl, and Hecate. Wings are also often depicted on goddesses as well and can represent lightness, freedom, success, protection, etc. It is a zinc alloy pendant on stainless steel chain and it is by Nine of Earth. Okay, and then we have the Dark Goddess Magic Book by C.R.A. Campbell, a $24.99 value. Let's go ahead and move this so you can see it. It's a beautiful book. Okay. Um, goddess, Dark Goddess Magic introduces 20 of the most powerful shadow goddesses and guidance on how to connect with them. Full of corresponding references, spells, rituals, invocations, etc., to connect with the goddesses, thegoddesscircle.net. And we do have a golden rutilated quartz tumbled stone. That's this one here. Beautiful stone. I don't know if the lighting's right to show you guys. Very pretty stone. And it is a $3 value. Rutilated quartz contains naturally occurring strands of rutile stone also known as Venus hair stone, due to the rutile stone inclusions that look like golden strands of hair. Some ancient Greek legends claim that strands of the goddess Venus's hair fell from her head 
and mythical creatures preserved them inside the stone. This ethereal stone is said to be especially powerful for setting intentions and manifesting by helping you identify your desires. The clear and clear blockages from the past to illuminate your path. It is also said to help relieve anxiety and fears, enhance psychic abilities by energizing the higher mind. Beautiful. Well, as always, you guys, this is an amazing box. Absolutely love it. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff aside and I'm gonna open up these cards for you all. comes wrapped in these plastics they give me a hard time so let me see if I can carefully get a piece of that open there we go okay nice sturdy box Again, this is published by Hay House. It is by Sophie Bashford and Hillary Wilson. Let's go ahead and take a look inside. It's got a chunky book lit. And looks like Hillary Wilson is the artist. And then the, it is also by Sophie Bashford. Okay, and the book is in black and white. Just take a quick glance at this. And we'll see what kind of goddesses we have in here. So it's got your introduction, welcome to ritual, prepare your cards, how to do a reading, card spreads. I want to take a look at that. And a prayer for you. And I kind of give you a close up so you can see what goddesses and gods are in this book in this deck. Okay. I wanted to see what kind of spreads they have. I always like to see what kind of spreads they have in books. Sometimes they have the most unique spreads to go with decks. And you have a single card, three card, soul path, insight into your soul's path and purpose in this life, which is a five card Oh, no, that's a three card. Past, present, future, and soul path, three card readings. They have a five card reading, the gateway star, where you are, where what's on the other side, three and five, what's holding you back, and four, the action step. And uh, looks like a relationship reflection spread as well. Another five card spread. And that's it. So a couple of unique five card spreads. And the information, let's see, we have Aphrodite, a keyword, eternal love, romance is flowing, celebrate your beauty. And then it looks like it gives a big long quote, some information on Aphrodite and additional meetings and an invocation. Let's flip through and see. It does the same for the rest here. Pona, same thing, some keywords, um, some information, card meaning, and some additional abbreviated meanings and an invocation. All right, so it looks like it goes through the cards. Let's take a look at these cards and see what we have. Ooh, look how pretty that is. Very pretty. The sun with the moon inside and the stars. They're kind of like um, almost that rose petal, but a little bit slicker feeling. Thicker side card, which I like. 
and it looks like no borders. We have the name of the uh, god, goddess, or guardian, and it looks like a phrase. actually quite like the phrases they've got on here with these deity. Very nice. Very pretty cards. So the cards are not numbered, they're not bordered. Um, they are beautiful range of colors. Um, I really do love this type of color scheme, so I have a feeling I'm going to love this deck. And I do like the uh, short phrases they have on each of the cards. Seem like really nice. They go well with the images. So I am looking forward to working with this. Very nice. All right, and there you guys have it. So that is the deck in the box. Beautiful goddess themed box with our necklace and rutilated quartz, some incense, and nice little tarot spread as well. Uh, the bag for the tarot deck. An amazing looking elixir. I can't wait to try this one. Okay, and then of course the book as well, which is absolutely stunning. I'm thrilled that we got both a deck and a book in this box. Very cool. All right, and with that, I hope you all have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.